Good evening and welcome to Nonsense Talk. Today's issue is a little different. In fact, when I am recording this, I myself am astonished and surprised at the remarks of Army Chief General Bipin Rawat. Indian Army has always been talking of uh, being liberal. The initiative began during the tenure of General Shankar Rai Choudhury. In fact, General Shankar Rai Choudhury was the first who said Indian Army needs to be more liberal. He said, enough of these heights, measurement of arms, elbows. Young men and women should be given equal chance. Women were being welcomed in the Indian Army. And it was during that time it was said that soon, <clears throat> sorry, within a couple of years, doors will be open for them in the combatant. But Saturday's remark by General Bipin Rawat has not only surprised many, it has sparked a debate in the media and other quarters of the society, especially those talking of women rights. But believe me, I'm not talking of women rights here. My gut feeling inspired me to come over to speak something to you. Women are taking part in everything, in all spheres, and they are doing it successfully. Enough of uh, enough has been said on that, so I'm not going into that. My utter surprise, or my uh, uh, the reason I am here is because I was I, I, I was really uh, shocked to hear a general's remarks on why women will not be inducted at the moment in the combatant. If you have been through the news, then you have seen what a uh, general has said. General said a couple of, he raised a couple of points which are not only strange, ridiculous, funny, but utter, uh, I know I should not be using the word utter nuisance, but unfortunately the remarks are just unacceptable. Three of the most uh, uh, raised points, one, he said, and I quote, one, Indian army men in the army, men in the uniform, uh, during the combatant, in the war fields, or in such a situation, may peep when women change their uniform. The statement in itself is not only ridiculous, the statement in itself demean, malign the sentiments of men in the olive. Men in the olive has always been an inspiration for many like us, especially at an age when we all actually dream of joining the army. In a way, he is not only insulting his own boys, but also inspiring the utter filth, according to him, going on in the Indian Army. Number two, 
He says if women joins the army, then naturally they will get pregnant, quote unquote pregnant. And in such a situation, they will ask for maternity leave. And Indian army cannot afford to give them maternity leave or send them on leave. Well, there are many points, but the most funniest and sad point is when the general says Indian families, Indian households are not prepared to receive the dead bodies of their women members. General Rawat, nobody is actually ready to welcome the dead bodies of their beloved ones or loved ones. Nobody welcomes their carcasses or dead bodies with open arms or smile, but they have to. Do you think your men who die in war as well as the proxy war taking place in Kashmir due to Pakistan, due to fringe elements, when their body comes to their villages, when their bodies are given guard of honor, at the army base camps where you also go and pleasure it, do you think their family members feel happy to receive those lifeless bodies? General Rawat, you should and must know and you should get your fundamentals clear because it seems that you are yet to understand the sentiments, the emotions of the girls straight out of colleges, universities, schools who want to join the forces as combatant. These girls are brave enough to face the bullet. These girls are brave enough to go to the war. These girls are brave enough to face any eventuality. And their families, whom you have referred in your remarks, are certainly not like the average who will sob when such an eventuality takes place. Their families are also brave enough. They have the guts to accept the fate, the destiny of their daughters, their daughters-in-law, their sisters, their wives. General Rawat, this remark from you is surprising because you should have encouraged as your all predecessors had done. You should have patted, you should have said, come on girls, join the Indian Army. Join the Uniform and Olive. Be a part of Indian Army. You did not say this. You demeaned the spirits. You insulted the sentiments, the emotions of these girls. General Rawat, Indian Army is a family which you know better. And whether it's a girl or a boy, straight out of Pune or Dehradun or any other Sainik school, when he or she says that he wants to join the army, still today, their families at least for once, think, what if they die? But these families again send their boys, send their girls to the army. And this is how Indian Army has grown big. General Rawat, it's indeed a very sorry statement from you. It's a humble request, sir. Don't malign the sentiments of girls 
who wants to join the combatant. All girls are not prepared for the combatant. For them, the non-combatant is there, as you said. But those who have met their mind to take the training of the warfare, who have decided to go combatant, don't demean their sentiments. Don't demean their, uh, their zeal, their their, their uh, attraction for the Indian Army because such girls are also rare. Finally, I just have only one question to you all, to the viewers and listeners of Nonsense Talk. If you feel General Rawat is correct then please give your reactions if you feel I am wrong or incorrect even then please feel free to comment or react only like or sending heart sign actually doesn't makes the picture clear you all have to take a proactive stand Finally, before summing up, I feel, General Rawat, you should and you must rebut on your statement and say, yes, girls, you are most welcome to join the Indian Army, not just as a non-combatant, but as a combatant. Because Indian Army respects, Indian Army salutes these brave women who are prepared to as according to you quote unquote if they die they are prepared for this eventuality thousand salutation to those girls who decide to join the Indian army as combatant 